Hi, I'm John from JStars.com, and welcome to my course, SAS Log Issue Handling and Good Programming Practices. In this section, we'll mainly talk about the log issues and their root cause, as well as how to properly handle them. First of all, why it's so important to know about the log issue and how it can be resolved. It's simply because SAS errors can cause issues with your datasets and outputs, thus leading to misinterpretation of the data. And leaving the issues in the log is just the same as delivering a half-finished product. So understanding how to fix the log issues will ensure product quality, save people's time in the future when your program is taken over, and more importantly, make you outstand as a good programmer. In this lecture, we'll go through the first part of the section one and introduce you the error types that SAS recognizes. I'll use lock issues and lock errors interchangeably, if not otherwise specified. In general, SAS performs error processing during both the compilation and the execution phases. You can debug SAS programs by understanding processing messages in the SAS lock and then fixing your code. You can also use the data step debugger to detect logic errors in the data step during execution. SAS recognizes five types of errors, syntax, semantic, execution time, data, and macro-related error. Syntax error occurs when programming statements do not conform to the rules of the SAS language. For example, when a misspelled SAS keyword is used. Semantic error occurs when the language element is correct, but the element might not be valid for a particular usage. For example, when using a numeric variable name where only a character variable is valid, Execution time error occurs when SAS attempts to execute a program and execution fails, for example, illegal mathematical operations. Data error occurs when data values are invalid, for example, a character value in the number variable results in a data error during program execution. Macro-related error occurs when you use the macro facility incorrectly.